Would you like even more customizable options with your JotForm? Well, let me show you how you can inject custom CSS. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you want even more options to customize your form to have it look exactly how you want, you can absolutely use cascading style sheets or CSS. Now JotFormers does a really awesome job of allowing you to build out your form and customize it with no coding whatsoever, but sometimes we might want a little code to make it fit exactly what we are seeing in our minds. And the best way to do that is with CSS. So on the top right hand corner, I'm gonna go ahead and choose our form designer. Then over in styles down at the very bottom, here is where you can inject custom CSS. Now you might be wondering, what exactly can I put here? Well, JotForm has a really awesome help article that lays out some options for you. So the first one, you can add a background image utilizing CSS. We have making a page background transparent, the form background transparent, removing the space above the form. Let's go ahead and give this one a try. I'm gonna copy this, head back over. So it's gonna remove this section right up here. So let's go ahead and preview. So we see now there is absolutely no space up there at the top. Let's go ahead and see what else we can do. We can change that background color of our header and we're just going to space down and add that in. So we saw that that changed the color. We can preview that. Perfect. Now we can change the subheading color. We can change all of the sub labels to a different color. Even the highlight effect, that is pretty nice. So if you have a specific brand color that you would like to use, we can add that in so it fits our branding perfectly. Let's go ahead and preview our form. And we can see I made it black so it stands out that you can see that it has been changed. Perfect. And it really is as simple as that. You can take a scroll through this help document to identify what else you can do with CSS. And if there is something very specific that you are looking for that isn't listed in that help article, definitely drop us a comment down below or even on that help article, our support team is available 24 seven to help you out. Now, if you have any questions about utilizing CSS, again, let us know down below this video. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.